Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Hyo and today I'm bringing you guys a little bit more Black Desert Online and I'm making this video kind of as a guide because I know a lot of people are 50 or aren't 50 yet and neither of them really know what to do when you get to 50 they kind of think you just keep grinding forever but um, you don't have to do that, you don't have to do that now but uh, when you do get 50 a lot of the daily quests and stuff like that do open up to you so I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I do every day I'm gonna take you along with me and you can see exactly what I do to get more contribution what I do to get more energy more silver and stuff to just better improve my gear overall and a lot of the methods that I do are really easy because it's not stuff that I like to take a lot of time doing because it is daily stuff I like to get it out of the way real quick and then hop into you know whatever I'm doing for the day like bossing farming leveling stuff like that so I'll show you guys pretty much the simplest way to maintain your character and get better gear over time so let's just jump right into the first spot alright guys now that we're at the first spot this is where I start pretty much every day in Velia and I start in Velia because I usually farm off the shore um, I'm in the process of making a boat so that'll change soon but for now I think it is a really good place to level your fishing and get some extra silver. You're not going to make a lot fishing off the shore but you are going to make enough. I mainly get like 50 to 70 thousand silver depending and I use that for like carrots, food, uh, stuff for my workers, you know it's just like it's like a little bit extra silver. It's not going to be, you know, huge, but it is going to pay for those little things here and there. And it's nice to get up your fishing so you can get more money when you do get a boat. And your boat does take a while to make, so if you can, I'd suggest start making it now. Alright, since I am in Velia, I do go to the marketplace and I'll check out how much beer is. And I'll make sure to feed my workers, feed my pets, so that I don't have to worry, that, worry about that for the rest of the time that I'm playing. And so I'll do all that, sell all my fish, and then once I'm done with that, I'll instantly head over to Heidel. All right, now that we arrived in Heidel, I'm gonna go over to the marketplace manager and pick up a tanning knife. And uh, I'm picking up a tanning knife. I usually get the steel ones. If you can't get the steel ones, obviously get the other ones until you can get the steel ones. But once you are able to use them, definitely pick up the steel ones. They save you a lot of time it's eight seconds instead of four seconds when I gather it's down to I think six seconds per gather which is really good so I pick up a tanning knife as well as a Balanos special which also increases your gathering by two and of course I have the camo uh, outfit or whatever which increases your gathering by one so I have about three gathering when I go and do this and what I'm gonna do is a pretty reliable source of income you can make about a million silver an hour at least if you have a lot of energy but um, you'll, as you'll see in a second it, it'll take you less than an hour and you're not gonna have enough energy to do it for the whole hour so we're gonna go over here spot right next to Galish and right next to Northwestern Gateway it's getting a little more popular although I still haven't seen anyone there and you're gonna kill triangle head lizards you kill these triangle head lizards and they have a chance to drop lizard hide as well as when you skin them you get lizard hide with a chance to get uh, hard hide and so you can do that and from about 100 energy I get a little over 200 um, or pretty close to 200 lizard hide and then like 10 to 15 hard hide and on my server, Uno, you can sell them for about 2,000 silver. I always sell them at, as the highest price that you can sell them for because they will sell for that price every single time. No matter if there are other hides on the auction house, um, they will still sell at the highest price. So you can either do that or you can make them and process them by drying them. If you dry them, they'll turn into hard hide but um, it's about as profitable maybe a little bit less profitable so you, I'd suggest selling them raw and if you can't do that you can also farm sheep hide although I'm not going to get into that I am going to make a video on how to make really easy gold or really easy silver excuse me and uh, I'll, I'll include that in there but yeah just try to find a hide that's good for you usually lizard hide is really cheap on my server so that's why I farm these 
So now that I'm done farming lizard hide, I get done with that right away so that I can be regenerating my energy throughout the entire time that I'm farming. Now that we go back, I'm going to put the stuff up on the auction house and then we're going to go to the first spot uh, for a daily. Over here in Serendia Shrine, south of Glish, southeast of Glish, you're going to want to talk to this guy, Hakan, or Hakan. I don't know his name, but you're going to talk to him and he's going to give you a quest every single day. And the quest gives you a box. And in the box, you can get weapon stones, you can get steel um, tools, you can get just straight up silver. Um, some of the stuff is cool, some of the stuff is not as good, and so obviously you want to get uh, weapon stones from there. People say you can get a million silver, but when I got the silver, I only got like 2,000, so that's probably not the best. Now you're going to want to go in there and just kill the Serendian Priest and stuff like that real quick. It's pretty easy, even if you are a fresh 50. Not super easy, but it, you don't have to kill that many, so you'll be able to do it in like maybe 10-15 minutes. And uh, you'll notice that we're going to go in a giant U around the map in this session. And uh, so I'm going to run through here, through the bottom part, to Gahaku Plain. And sometimes it's Gahaku Plain and sometimes it's a different area, but this is just for the daily quest. I don't always do it. This gives you one hunter seal. And uh, sometimes I just don't feel like running all the way south like this time so I just skip it but um, all the way to the bottom left of the map is going to be the witch's ground so you're gonna wanna go to the bottom left of the map and go to Becker she says she's not a witch but she has magic potions flying around her which leads me to believe she's lying so you're gonna talk to her and she's gonna give you an exact the exact same quest that um, the other guy gave you at Serendia Shrine and you're gonna run into Hex Sanctuary once you're in Hex Sanctuary, you're gonna kill. You can either kill the skeletons. I don't like to because they have ranged guys and they're kind of annoying to deal with. So I just run a little bit deeper and I kill the lizards, the skeleton lizards, and uh, they're pretty easy to bunch up. They're kind of close. They don't give that much experience, but they also have a chance of dropping witch earrings, which are some of the best, if not the best, earrings in the game, and they sell for around nine million on this server. So usually I'll stick around and kill them a little bit extra just to you know, try to see if I'm lucky that day or not. And for the last spot, I'm gonna run over to the Manches. All right, so now that we just got to Manches, I'm gonna show you guys where it is on the map as well as tell you why it's a good place. I do this every single day. So you're gonna wanna talk to these guys on the left, not the guys on the right. The guys on the right will give you Rudum quests, which uh, you can do them and they're pretty good. They're pretty similar. And the Rudum guys are really easy to kill. But I do the mansion ones just because. And the mansion ones will give you 200 contribution each. And so I'll pick up, I think, about two of the daily quests. And then um, the daily quests that I get from the Black Spirit. And so it'll be about three or four quests, depending on how many you get. And it's they're all the same thing. You're just going to kill the manches. Manches have a chance of dropping a goblin boss scroll. Um, black stones, weapon black stones, armor black stones, and there's also ogres here, which I actually got a quest for because I didn't finish my black spirit quest to kill them. And ogres can drop the ogre ring, which is the best necklace in the game, and sells for over 90 million silver. So if you can find those, then great, but ogres are a pain to kill. They're really hard to kill by yourself. Uh, they take either a really long time or they just kill you. So, obviously, if you want to be efficient and not take a really long time and you don't have a group, then just kill manches. They're really easy to kill. And so, after you're done wiping them out, you're going to get all your stuff. The potions they give you aren't really good, so I just sell them. But all the other stuff is, uh, all the contribution and skill experience is definitely worth it because it's really easy to do. Uh, this guy right here, if you didn't know, the mancha node manager you can turn in your hunter seals there you can turn in hunter seals for uh black stones armor black stones and weapon black stones and i'll show you how to get a bunch of hunter seals in a second so i'm gonna throw this in there i don't do these every day but this is something that you should be doing um relatively often uh, like once a week at least is uh boss scrolling so i guess you can call this a weekly just because people save up five scrolls so however long it takes you to do five scrolls 
you go ahead and do them. Usually, you'll see in this video, I show you how to get the Imp Scroll. You simply go to Kron Castle right above Velia, and you kill 20 guys there, or 30 guys there. And they're really easy. They're the easiest mob that I've shown you so far. You kill them, and they give you the Imp Summon Scroll. And you want to get... Usually people look for about 5, but I've seen groups looking for 3, 2, it really depends. So you're going to want to get 5 usually though, because that's the best. And find a group that also has 5 people with 5 scrolls. So you're going to kill the boss 25 times and get loot 25 times. That's really good because you're going to get a lot of hunter seals, a lot of black stones, a lot of trash that you can turn in for hundreds of thousands of silver and it's really really good. The other day I ran it and I think I got around six or seven million worth of black stones, hunter seals, um, just straight up silver and stuff like that. And that's how I bought my horse that you saw in the beginning of this game. I bought it for two million which is no big deal. And like I said you can do this once a week and you can also use your loyalty points to get boss scrolls. I'd recommend getting witch scrolls. They're a thousand, they're more expensive, but you also get a chance of getting those witch earrings again. And again, she's also really easy to kill, so in my opinion it's worth it. Other people will save up and just buy two red nose scrolls, which are the same price as one witch scroll. It depends. You can also do relic shard scrolls, which are about a million silver to buy. Or you can find them through fishing though, which is one of the main reasons I fish. And those are also definitely worth uh, one million silver. So if you guys are questioning whether you should buy the relics shards, um, definitely buy them and make the scrolls. But those groups are the same where people usually want to find at least people with three scrolls, which is kind of hard to get, but once you get them, uh, you get a bunch of money from doing the relic shard scrolls. So that's mainly what I do. I'm gonna head over to Calpheon and sell all my stuff. So I make a giant circle around the map and that's how I do it. Doing this route takes about, if I had to guess, an hour and a half. If I'm doing it fast, if I'm like going slow and doing other quests in between, it'll take me about two hours. But if you're going real quick, then yeah, like an hour, hour and a half, depending on how geared you are. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's pretty much everything I wanted to tell you, um, except for after watching through the video, I didn't really show you guys exactly where everything was. So uh, let me show you guys real quick. So in case you guys were unsure, I'll give you direct directions, like exact directions on everything that I told you about. So I started here in Velia when I was fishing, and that's where I end. I end up fishing overnight in Velia, and that's where I end. So Kron Castle is right here, Kron Castle site. This is where you get the Red Nose Imp Scrolls. Down here is uh, Glish, right there. This area right here, next to the Northern Gateway, is where I get all of my lizard hides. And you'll see, like I was saying in the video, it is a big U or a big circle. Because down here is Serendia Shrine. Here's the Hakan guy. And that's Serendia Shrine. Um, over here is Giants, Gahaku Plain, where you often have your dailies. And right here is Becker, the witch. And this is Hex Sanctuary, where you kill the lizard guys. A lot of lizards. And right over here is Mancha Forest, and this is where I hung around and killed the Manchas and the Ogres. And then I'll usually sweep around to Calpheon and put all my stuff in the marketplace there. And so it makes a huge circle around the entire map like this, more like an oval, but you get the point. And I just wanted to clarify that, and that's pretty much what I do. Like I said, that is stuff that you should be doing. It gives you a lot of black stones, a lot of money. It's a really easy way to get contribution. And if you haven't been doing stuff like this, then you'll also get energy in the process. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you a lot of information, a lot of insight into what you could be doing and how you could be making money in the end game. I will be coming out with videos on more in depth on how to make silver and another video on how to boss and how to like find bossing groups and stuff like that so if you guys are looking for more information like that 
make sure to subscribe. You'll see when all my videos come up. If you did like the video, if it did help you out, make sure to leave a like. Go to the comments. Tell me what other kind of videos you want to see, and I'll be sure to get to that right away. So thanks, guys. I hope you really liked it, and I'll see you all next time.